With Shin and the squad finding this new Federacy or the new Empire of Giyad, whatever we want to call it, I don't know, because it seems to be a very positive thing, I don't know whether to be nervous or happy, because this kind of show is very reminiscent of a Game of Thrones, a very Attack on Titan show, where they make you feel happy only to make the depression that much worse. So I really, I really don't know, but I'm very excited to watch this nevertheless. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with 86, episodes 13 and 14. First one is called It's Too Late. Last episode, like I said, we ended off with uh, Shin and the rest of the squad supposedly getting saved from the battlefront, in which I thought they were in a ultimate death situation, so I still am hoping to get more context on that in and of itself. But with them, they're seeming that even 86ers are getting rights, there's protests, they have food, sanctuary. The president, Ernst, is taking them in as his like subsidiary children which you know i appreciate that just give them whatever comfort they can and when ernst was talking to his other warrior or his other lieutenants and military leaders he, they were trying to get the children to be the next operators to run the next juggernauts and he was saying no they've earned their freedom they've they've earned the right to not do this anymore so i very much appreciate that but it only makes me more nervous that he was saying princess right with frederica and what her role lies in this because i have some sort of feeling that she has ties to the old uh, empire and, and then we also have ernst giving that um uh token or medallion back to shin which i believe he made that it's either showray's old one or a new one that he made for showray so we have a lot of shit going on i really don't know what's in we have lena doing lena things being the bloody regina queen like her she is a badass i'm excited to hop into this i can't wait any longer remember if you guys want to watch this live with us on twitch we are a lot watching it live full reactions uncut over on twitch.tv slash darius great vibes great energy come on by it's a good time other than that follow all the other social medias instagram Twitter and TikTok, all at Dapper Darius. Check out that Patreon for full length and early access for episodes. Uh, other than that, let's hop right into this. 86, episodes 13 and 14. Uh, first one is called It's Too Late. Let's do this. The festival of the Hurley Holy Birth is next week and the whole city is getting ready. Was that statue wearing a beanie? He was drippy. Why does this feel like a slice of life a slice of life episode now? Like we're watching Toradora or Money Girl. So, I'm assuming, especially with how this show is, some time has most definitely passed. We're filling in some jobs, being contributing members of society. I appreciate that. Ryan's doing lifting. He's moving shit. He's a goat at that. I, I can totally see that. Karina's just trying to live the young girl life, you know? Window shop and all that jazz. She gets embarrassed, obviously. She's picturing herself in those clothes. I think Karina's one of my favorite characters in this because she... Is super innocent, you know. But I really like Theo too. There's probably some fantastic artists in this in this area, you know. I'm actually why am I getting so geeked that these guys are having a good life? Like they deserve this so much, you know. Anju's chefing on up. This is so nice. I actually love this. I I just hope Shin is also having a good time. Shin gets a whole library of books, you know. Obviously, they see him as the Sasuke character, you know, just too cool for school. That's such a little kid response. I get it. Kids are shy. Kids are nervous, you know. Eugene? I knew a couple of people named Eugene back in the day. Where did Frederica come from? Hello. I could see Frederica and, ha and Shin having a good relationship. I could see her being one of the only ones that will eventually be able to break down this barrier, you know. Unlock that caring Shin. <laughs> Everyone's gonna be assuming they're brother and sister. <laughs> okay, Frederica. Okay, she is funny for that one. Hey, it worked. I do thoroughly enjoy some snow. 
Man, we just passed winter time. It's, is it weird that I want winter already? I'm not the biggest fan of summer. I want winter again. I like cold. So they're living their day-to-day -day activity, slice of life. I love this shot of just them being Saturn, not not facing us, everything in their you know background. So this is their Christmas, the holy birth, which, you know, the birth of Jesus makes sense. But I wonder what they're celebrating, the holy birth of their empire? If it's winter time, why do we have a cherry blossom in our hand? This is like an Ervin dream, man. This would be the saddest thing, you know? Oh my god, the headless symbolism in this is so... Talk about nightmare fuel. Talk about feeling an a never-ending sense of responsibility and pressure, you know? Like, even after he's unable to protect him, he still wants to go that extra edge to make sure that, you know, it's like, it's crazy. <laughs> December 24th. Oh, so it's been a few weeks. Okay. I respect that. Especially coming from a not well off family, you know? That's a good goal. Especially coming from another show that we know where that's a goal too. So far, I'm liking Eugene. Wants to instill good good values into his sister. He does what he can given their situation, you know? Wants to talk to Shin. Pretty outgoing. Gonna be our, my first time seeing a couple of them interact this whole episode. Tell me why every time I hear Anju, I think uh, I think of Shinobu. I just love her voice actor. Understandable. Yeah, so that's why in his dream he didn't have his gun. He felt empty, you know. It's it's a horrible thing to have to keep doing, but it's a tangible thing to hold on to to keep you moving forward, you know, so I get it. Without that, mm, yeah. And he's been having, yeah, it makes actually a lot of sense what headspace he's in right now. Talk about a, a hard cut transition, oh my lord. They do look pretty insane as well. Ooh, he's literally going through it physically, how old PTSD, everything, yep. I could totally see it. The trauma that would in in entail and on anyone would be unfathomable, you know? Yeah, what is wrong with Frederica? What is she hungry? <laughs> she is so funny when she tries to do her little baby face to get some food wow you chefed up a nice looking omelet okay I have to agree with that <laughs> yep not high on his priority list it's a good question uh oh was she not supposed to know that I just assumed Aaron gave her the details about a bunch of stuff, but that is quite the deep detail, you know. What is it? In terms of the city? In terms of like a new life? Or... They're ready to go back to what they know and... Okay. I mean, I get it. You know, sometimes like that, that life... You really can't go back. That's like, and it's a sign. It's a sad thing to think about because there's a lot of soldiers who will come back from combat and really cannot go back to a normal life. You know, after they're so used to that, they got their rest. It just, I'm on Aaron's side, but I get him. I get him. Ooh, I like that. I get it. I get it. They can't pretend to be at peace when they're not. That's the best way to- I couldn't have put it better. I get what he's saying, like this is the end for you, but I get what they're saying as well. The end's not over till the fight is over. I also get that rebuttal. They wouldn't, you know. 
I get both sides. You know, I do. I totally get it. Okay. On one condition, what would that be? They gotta do it legitimately. I like that. I like that. Okay. <laughs> okay. They weren't even thinking about the war ever ending, but I like Ernst thinking about the long game. I like that. He's still, he's still talking as if there's a light at the end of the tunnel. And I appreciate that. It's blood and soil. Frederica knows a thing or two. <laughs> like, is this girl? Augusta, Frederica, Adele, um, Augusta. The last empress of the Empire of Gyad. That shot with the fire in the background is pretty fucking insane. Alright. Like, I, I, you know. They're, they're not those type of people, though. Really? No way. Is that who we heard a couple episodes ago? Well, who's like, I'm the, the nobles, the everyone else. Yes, I must protect the princess or the empress. Remember? I remember that. We got some real deal Holyfield powers up in here. Okay, I was not expecting that. So she wasn't told, she saw it. She literally saw it. What the hell? We're keeping Shorey's tag with us as a as a memorial. Oh, god damn! That ending hit me out of no. Whoa! I can see we're, we're kind of setting shit up now. I can see where this is going. I'm kind of hyped. I'm kind of hyped. All right, now that I know where somewhat we're going with this second part of the season, I'm hella excited. But this one is called "Glad to Be Here," episode 14. Let's do it. Whoa! No hesitation. Immediately into the action. Okay, I can't lie. Us seeing our new kind of HUD in these new Juggernauts. These new Juggernauts look so badass. That's gotta be Shin, right? With the maneuver. They're like, who is this guy? <laughs> They've never seen someone do anything like that. <laughs> Typical military commander. Marcel. From a military perspective, 100% true. But you also can't talk back to your, to your superior officer, you know. Fair enough. He gives him a little credit for what he did, but he still did the wrong thing. So, he got a zero. And the commander didn't go crazy on him for no reason. I respect him so far. Marcel's a little butt hurt, but... No, she was the one who was trying to have them be their uh, juggernaut operators from the beginning. I mean, I get why someone not knowing of Shin would think that, but little does he know, Shin's like the dopest character in the show. He's the Reaper. With that pistol back in his hand, he... Okay, I get it. April 1st. Some time has passed. That's dope. Wow. That's... I don't know if... I don't know if they're going to appreciate that or not like it, but I, I like that, you know? See, I could see them not liking that, but I do like how they have some sort of memorial for all of them. With that still being right there and everything, all 575 tags. And the Nordlicht squadron, which is under my command, so we'll be right under her. I like her so far. Greth Wenzel. Rhett at Wenzel. <laughs> Frederica. 
Don't tell me it's a Fido 2.0 or something. New Fido? This is the Fido? Really? He's back? Aww. I'm gonna get all choked up. Oh, that's dope. He was an he was an S tier comrade on that battlefield. S tier comrade at home. That's that's dope. I need a whole nother episode or a whole nother montage of like Fido's recordings, you know, over the years. I definitely do. Shouts out Fido, man. See you again with some happiness. I don't know. I don't know if that's a good sign or a bad sign. She's their mascot. That's hilarious. What, just like for morale? The unit becomes a found family? Really? I had I did not know that. She's official as well. I appreciate it. Shouts out to our mascot, Augusta Frederica. Wow, his legendary pistol. We got Fido, we got our pistol, we got a new squad, we got a dope mascot, we got a new commander. It's looking good so far. July 28th? Holy smokes! Even with the new Federacy of Giyad, the war is still very reminiscent of the old war. These Legionites are fucking horrifying. Good shot. Who saved him? Eugene's life was surely saved right there. Oh, we know who that is. Oh my god, look how agile this boy is. The Republic's design. They said it has no thought of pilot safety, but you don't really need safety when you're fucking Shin. Look at this man. This man is a goddamn menace. This man is single-handedly taking out a fucking platoon. Monsters of the Republic. Jesus Christ. With the sparks flying up too, that was that was a shot right there. Baron Holt? Is that our commander? I like that name. Baron Holt. <laughs> Wait, all his superiors died. We're not talking about grit, right? Because they're talking they're talking about I'm talking about Shin, but what the hell? And Eugene knew Shin months ago, back, you know, met, met him at the library. So is Shin the head of his platoon? Well, you don't like mushrooms? I feel you. I'm not the biggest fan myself. I will eat them in certain... I'll eat them in certain situations, but I feel her. What a good big brother. Now you just have to eat one. You can deal with one, right? Come on. And of course Eugene would understand knowing about his sister and everything like that. Wow, they're that busy on the front lines that it's literally just Shin and Frederica? The rest of them are all split up? <laughs> I love how they're talking about him as if he's not right there. <laughs> Sounds like my mom. <laughs> All right, guys, let's relax there for a second. Okay, they have are now friends based on their... <laughs> on how they think Shin is weird, so that's funny. Come on, you gotta do a pose. You gotta throw something up. Bunny ears? What do you do? You gotta do something, you know? She does have her own reasons for fighting. You just don't know it yet, Eugene. I understand it. It's all good. Yeah, it is rough being a big brother. That's nice, though. Keeps that picture. Reminds me of a Gauche and Marie, you know? 
good. I like, I like Eugene. Good dude so far. He could tell beforehand. He could hear the Legion coming. That's insane. I love that. I, I always do that. I love that. I hate this show, man. Fucking. I don't want to watch this show anymore, man. I really don't. I hate this show. That's horrible, man. That's horrible. He has to go grab it from his hand down the way a little bit. That's so fucking horrible. His literal last thing he saw on this earth. Bro, that shit is sad. Shin's always gotta be the one, man. We only knew him for like, uh, these two episodes, but... I gotta give an RIP to Eugene, man. Big time. Just wanna look out for his little sister, you know? A big portion of this show is not understanding motivations of other characters, but that's real life, you know? That's what that's the whole point of being empathetic or trying to trying to see something from a different perspective because you never know what people are going through. You literally have no idea how deep this goes and it gets deep, you know? Oh, that sucks, man. Eugene was a good dude. They're gonna end the episode right there. Oof, oof, oof. This show, man, I tell you. Fuck! I must say, that was a rough ending to that episode. Strictly because of... Obviously, I knew... that when we, Especially when we introduce new characters in this sort of scenario, I, I know we're gonna lose some of them. I just think I relate to Eugene a little more than others because... You know, it's just, I, I it, and gauche as well, but I, I have a little sister, you know, and it's just, it's a rough situation, especially not having your parents. And, you know, I feel for my man just trying to do what he can. It's rough, and Shin, he has to be the one to do what he does, and I get that lieutenant, what he was saying, like, if you feel like you enlisted because you feel some sort of need to repay us, you know, don't, like, this is a horrible scenario, you know, go live your life, but it's like, everyone is is pressured with their own responsibilities and their own guilt you know and their own motivations and you really will never understand another person's full motivation and the show is a, a great example of that and you know shen is one of like i say cold but not in a bad way he's one of the coldest characters i've ever seen in any anime because he was forced to be that way but he's still one of the most kind-hearted people that you'll ever run into so it's such a it's such an interesting like duality and he obviously makes himself not get too attached to people especially like Eugene for those specific reasons you know he's lost way too many comrades in it it's a rough one it truly is gotta give a an RIP to Eugene shouts out to everyone doing what they can shouts out Frederica being a good mascot Ooh, it is rough Oh, I don't know what to say. If you guys enjoyed that episode, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to check out that Patreon. Four episodes, early access. Check out that Twitch. We're live watching it. Twitch.tv slash Darius. Uh, don't forget to drink some water. Definitely tell someone you love them after this episode for sure. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace.